This bag is getting so heavy. I got my Jiu-Jitsu Gi, which is the name, the official name of the uh, martial arts outfit. It's called a Gi. I have that as well as my my very important, all important belt. I also have my equipment for Muay Thai, my shin guards, my shirt that goes with it, as well as my all important gloves. I got my shorts on underneath my joggers and I'm heading to class. This is gonna be a double header. I'm gonna do an hour of jujitsu and then I have an hour of Muay Thai right afterwards. So this is gonna be fun. What up though, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mr. Light YouTube channel. Whether this is your first time watching one of my videos or just your most recent time, thank you. I appreciate you for coming by and checking out my latest video. You could be watching or doing anything else in the world, but I appreciate the fact that you took some time to kick it with me for a minute. I'm on my way to a double header of martial arts classes. I have an hour of Muay Thai, and right before then I have an hour of Jiu Jitsu. If you watched one of my most recent videos, you'll know that one of the coaches pulled me aside and suggested that I give their Jiu Jitsu class a try. And that's what I end up doing. As you just saw in this, in that previous clip, I have my uniforms, both of them, with me and I'm ready to roll. Now, in signing up for this class, my membership went up a few dollars. And when I say a few dollars, I mean like 30 or 40 dollars per month. And it got me to rolling around and thinking about the costs of a lot of investments that we make especially if we're on the road to improving our physical fitness. We spend so much money on personal training, on gym memberships, on supplements. And then if you wanna go deeper into that, you got the fat burners, you got protein powders, BCAAs, you got pre-workouts, you got creatine, you got L-arginine, you got L-argentina. That's not a real one. But you spend money on so many things with that common goal of getting into the best shape of your life. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm doing something and I'm spending money on something that I'm dedicating to improving my life and improving my well-being, I don't spare any expense. Now, I'm not going to go out the world and get like uh, cryotherapy treatments and and spend way above my means in order to do so. But I'm gonna take the time and I'm gonna make the investment. I look at athletes like LeBron, like Russell Wilson, and you hear about other athletes who spend exorbitant amounts of money on their bodies, and you see them recover from injury well, you see them recover from every little sprain, twist, every little tinge, and you also see them have longevity in their careers. Now, I'm not an athlete, hence the journey to lose weight, but that investment, such a sound investment, takes us so far. That investment in not just your health, but whatever you got going on for the future, whatever your, whatever's going to yield those long-term results that you want. Now, there are sound investments and there are not so sound investments. Spending a lot of money on gourmet foods and junk just because you like how it tastes, maybe not so much as a good investment. Spending money on luxury items and luxury goods when you know that that money could be better used to investing, pouring into your retirement, paying off some debt, not a sound investment. But one of the things that I've realized as I've continued to pay the costs, and guys, I've invested, in the last couple of years, I've invested in personal training. I've invested in supplements that 
help me remain consistent, get my macros in. And now I'm investing in physical, another form of physical training and martial arts training. I don't regret any of it. None at all. I don't regret any investments that I've made that I've made that are going to generate some sort of wealth for me in the future. And when I look at wealth, I don't just look at it as mon monetary. I look at wealth as well-being. I look at wealth as happiness. I look at wealth as that confidence that you exude. I look at wealth as that being more well-rounded. You know, not all investments are made equal, but a true investment is something that you won't regret the moment that you make it. So I'm thinking about just how much this Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, how much that I'm putting into my membership. But I don't focus on the outgo. I focus on the income. I focus on what it's going to do for me long term. And I think that we should, in some cases, stop counting so many costs when it comes to things that we should do to put ourselves in a better position. I'll give you an example. And I apologize if there's a glare, guys. I'm heading down the street, heading in the opposite direction of the sunset. But I'll give you an example. I spoke in a previous video about paying off my debt, about paying off my car, paying off my student loans, about the money that I couldn't spend during the pandemic to uh, go on a vacation or to buy certain things that I wanted or to make myself feel good. And every day that I wake up, every day that I check my bank account or that I check my brokerage account or my investments or my my 401k, my IRA, my HSA. Every day I look at that, I just smile to myself and say, it was worth it. <laughs> I say, damn, it was worth it. It was worth me not doing so that I could do later. Ironically enough, I'm passing, I'll be in a minute passing 12 Oaks Mall here in uh, Novi, Michigan, and I could go in there and buy whatever I want. Facts. I could go in there and buy whatever I want. However, I'm making investments. I'm making investments in myself financially. I'm pouring into myself physically money that I could spend on a consumer good I'd rather spend it on a book or an ebook I hope that's better I hope that that the sun is reflecting better now what I'm trying to say is once you start making investments it becomes easier to make investments you you change your mindset on how you spend your resources money time Real estate in your mind, your thoughts, your emotions. You start to regulate how you spend that better. And what you ultimately do is you make yourself an investor 360 degrees. You look at yourself and you say, ah, I'm not going to buy this. Ah, these lights out here. I'm going to keep that in the video for you guys. But you look at yourself and you say, man, I'm not just going to crash out and buy this, I don't know, this luxury watch. What I'll do is I'll take that money and I'll buy a stock that's worth it. Or you'll look at yourself and you'll say, you know what? I really want to go on this vacation, but I also know there's this certification course, whether it's in tech or non-tech. I know that there's this course I want to take, there's this class I want to take, there's this lecture that I want to sign up for, 
and you begin to think differently about everything that you pour into items, entities, places, people, you start to change all of those things and you start to generate a different mindset. So speaking of not crashing out, I am going to focus on getting to class, focus on doing my thing, learning, continuing to invest in myself, continuing to make a deposit physically, pouring into everything that I have going on, building, building on this channel, making better content, improving, taking things that I could do for fun and to do them for long-term success. So I hope that resonates with somebody who's watching this video. If you're watching this video and you stay to the end, like, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, because as I improve myself and as I make more investments, I will reflect that in my content, I will reflect it in my message, and I hope and I pray that anyone who catches my video on the algorithm views this message and takes it to heart. So with that being said, guys, I'll chat with you all later. I hope that you have a wonderful day, week, evening, whenever you're watching this.